Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a get ready with me. I am back home and I have hauled some new fun luxury beauty items that I can't wait to share with you. So I thought today what we would do is just kind of do a little get ready with me using these products. Yep, I did have to buy one of the Chanel, the 31 La Rouge lipsticks. So we'll do a little fun lipstick swatch here with this beauty. I also did go ahead and pick up another beautiful Clay de Peau eyeshadow palette. So we're going to be using that today as well as a few goodies from Guerlain. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look using some fun new goodies that I have hauled recently, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we need to put some makeup on this face and basically I'm doing a little catch up. I have got so many fun goodies to share with you that I just thought today I would do a get ready with me using them. So first things first, we're going to start with complexion and I was in Atlanta and I did go to the Guerlain counter. I actually went to go pick up the Guerlain Paru Matte Glow Foundation, the new one that so many of you were raving about. And the woman at the counter or the sales associate was so funny. She was like, no, you actually need the Terracotta La Tente. And I was like, I do have this already, um, but I had it in the shade 2.5 in. And she was actually like, you need it in a different shade. I am going to give you a sample of the matte foundation, but I seriously think that this one is the best foundation for you. And she was pretty adamant about it. So it was a little bit funny. I was like, she's not allowing me to buy this foundation. And I appreciated it as well. So she did match me to 2C in the Terracotta La Tente. And this literally has been a favorite pretty much all summer long. I love the fact that this sort of dries down. It has some like powder in it and it drives down to this very velvety finish, but it feels very hydrating on the skin, has some nice coverage, and it is great for humid weather. Um, and I kind of feel like this is going to be great year round anyways, but she was right. The color 2C was like a perfect match. I went ahead and picked up this color because I really enjoy this foundation. So if you have not tried the Terracotta La Tente, I highly recommend it. Next video, I will use my sample of the gold matte foundation so we can do a little review on that. But I'm going to go ahead and take one pump of the Terracotta La Tente. This is in 2C. Let me give you a little swatch here, just like that. And then I will go ahead and put this on my skin here, even out the skin. And you will see as I am blending this out, it just perfectly blends into the skin. The 2.5N was just a little bit peachier and darker. I'll give you a swatch of that in two seconds. The one thing with this is you do kind of want to work quickly because it will dry down and it has these lovely kind of powdery pigments and then it just sort of smooths out the skin and literally makes it look fantastic. So if you're like myself and you don't love um, wearing a lot of powder, I often skip powder with this one and just leave it as is and it just sort of 
wears beautifully throughout the day. It's one of those that I feel like once it meshes with my skin, like as the hours go down, um, it looks more beautiful than just the initial application. Okay, here's what this foundation looks like. I just love this foundation and I'm really glad to have picked up this new shade because I kind of knew I should have sent it back um, the other one because I knew it wasn't quite right but I am going to give you a swatch of both here is so this is right here the 2c and then over here is 2.5 in and as you can see um, it's pulling a little bit more yellow on me this one is going to just sort of meld right in to my skin on my actual face sometimes when I'm showing you things on my hand this is not exactly a representation of my actual skin it has different colors in it um, and I have just found that neutrals sometimes can pull either a little bit gray on me or they can pull a little bit um, like this one is kind of going to dry down a little bit more pull a little bit more warm on me and this one is just kind of kind of meld in and sort of help match my, I have a lot of red in my neck and it just tends to sort of blend in all over much better so if you are my skin twin I will tell you um 2C is almost like a perfect match for us. And while I'm thinking about this, many of you have asked if I would sell some of my gently used makeup on Macari. And I thought I would start to do that, especially with foundations that I picked up. I tend to not like to return things to the store. Um, and so I would actually love to just give a nice discount on something that's been like used once. So that is something that many of you have asked if I will do, so I will get that together. I've got some beautiful foundations, but they're not in the right color. Um, one that's coming to my mind is the Clay de Poe The Foundation. I ended up picking up that new version in the wrong color, and it's just sitting there, and it's such a beautiful foundation that somebody who wears shade 030 um, should enjoy. So I will leave the link to my Macari site down below. But yes, so many of you had asked if I would do that and I think it's a great idea. So look forward to that. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Biologique Recherche. This is the Eye Care Concealer and I have it in shade number one. I really do love this. I do wish the shade range was a little bit um, larger obviously but I have been enjoying this and it really is like an eye uh, cream or treatment that has a little tint and I'm gonna just use a little bit of that then use my fingers and I'm going to kind of pat that in underneath the eye bring a little bit down the bridge of my nose all over my eye here to give myself a nice blank canvas for our eye shadow. Okay, we're gonna let that sink in and we are gonna create a fun eye look. I ended up picking up another one of the Clay de Poe the new eyeshadow palettes. And I picked this up in number seven. This is Starlight Splendor. And this one just looked so pretty to me. I absolutely love the formula of these Clay de Poe eyeshadows. And I love the fact that it's got a little primer here. And then I just thought this was also in the vein of a little bit of that latte look that I'm just loving so much, but it has this little bit of pink or rose gold here that I just thought was so pretty. It's such a gorgeous shade. And then we've kind of got this warm amber color, warm brown. The texture of these shadows is just perfection, especially if you have 
older eyes here, more mature eyes. They just go on so beautifully and it just creates such a pretty look. And I love the fact that it's got this primer that's got some hydration and some skincare benefits in it. That is what that brand is all about. And I just thought that this color story was so pretty pretty. You guys know I love a good neutral, but this was a little bit different. It has that pop of rose gold over here. I have to admit there's like so many of these eye palettes that I want, so I would love to know which ones you want to see. Give me an excuse to buy a few more. So many of the ones I wanted sold out right away, so um, I've noticed that there's a lot of them back in stock, so let me know down below in the description box if there's certain ones you want to see. Now I did already buy the actual case for it to go in but I just bought the refill of this one so I haven't placed it in there yet but I'm going to start with the eye primer here and I'm just going to dip it right into this shade and I'm going to place this all over the lid first. Okay, I have put the primer on my eyes and now we're going to come into this beautiful shade here and I'm going to put that in the crease area. I love this shade so don't worry we're going to blend everything out. I'm just going to put some of the pigment down first and then I'll make sure to grab a big fluffy brush and blend everything out so that it is seamless. Okay, so far I've used the primer and this gorgeous shade. I love that. Now we're going to pop on this little bit of rose gold or slight pink shade here. It's so pretty. And I'm going to place that on my lid area. It's a really pretty color and again don't worry I will be blending everything out with a fluffy brush so I like to just sort of place my pigment down and then I'll make sure everything's nice and blended. <laughs> Going back in just with a little bit here of the brown shade here. I'm taking a clean fluffy brush here and I'm just going to kind of blend everything here. Now this eye, eye palette is in the warm toned neutrals. One of the things that I loved about Clay de Peau when they first launched the eye quads was that they kind of had them grouped. So if you're somebody who likes a cool toned eye look, they had four of them there. Then they had a neutral, pure neutral section with four and then another warm look. And I would consider this a warm neutral. So really liked the way that they paired those and made it a little bit more simplified. 
Personally, I want to get one from every category. I already picked up one of the cool eye palettes, which was in the Sun Dried Driftwood. So clearly I need to get one in the neutral one. And now I have this in the warm and I'm going to go ahead here and I am going to use this as a liner, this beautiful shade right here. And I'm going to come close to the lash line here. And I'm using the Rowan. This is the Everything Eye Brush. I always love this one because it has one side that's kind of a denser barrel that you can kind of define a little on the V. And then it has a thin little side for liner. So I'm going to go ahead and use this starting by coming in three-fourths of the way with that shadow and then kind of using whatever's left on the brush and bringing it over and I can build on that. Using whatever's left here, I'm going to bring it down underneath my lash line here. Connect everything. I have already purchased the eye case and then you can buy the refills and just pop them in and out. So the first one I bought was in a cool tone and this one is the Sun Dried Driftwood. So pretty. And I wanted to pick up one of the warmer toned eye quads and then I of course need a neutral one too. Actually the ones that I want are actually in the warm. I want number two, Beach Pebbles, and number one, that was in the cool one. I forget, that was called Sand Dune. That one sold out. One, two, sold out right away. But now that they are back in stock, I'm going to have to pick up one or two of those. So I'm actually going to intensify my lash line with uh, one of my favorite. I think you can still get this one. This is Brune Agape. This is from Chanel. Um, and I believe this is a shade you can still get. But if it is not, I really like Espresso. I'm pretty sure they still sell Espresso. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to kind of tight line that upper lash line with this brown agape. Okay, we have eyeballs on. This is the final look using that Starlight Splendor. And it's just a really beautiful, warm, neutral eye quad. Absolutely love it. And then I ended up pulling out my Clay de Poe bronzer. I have not used this in a while and it is such a pretty bronzer that I thought I would go ahead warm up my skin with this. I like it because it's got a lighter and a darker color and I just like to mix both of them together. And then I'm just going to kind of warm up my skin here. Then I pulled out one of my new favorite blushes from Dior. This is the limited edition one in Grand Ball. Perfect fall blush. And I'm just going to pop some of that on here.
kind of focusing a little bit right on the apple of the cheek and then kind of blending it up just a bit. What I like to do is just take my La Mer fluffy brush here and I just kind of buff this all around the skin just to kind of blend everything so it doesn't look like um, hard edges if that makes sense. Plus, I just love this brush. It's super soft and I just feel like it is the best way to buff in my makeup. Okay, then for lips, the star of the show, yep, I did have to pick up one of the 31 La Rouge. This is their lipstick with the beautiful glass case. And I was able to pick it up in shade number one, which is the kind of neutral rouge beige. That's what I was laughing about is that um, there's like two kind of more lighter shades and then the rest were these beautiful Chanel sort of red deep tones. I don't tend to wear those as much. There's so many beautiful colors that I was hoping to pick up this shade here. And I will tell you, the packaging is adorable. I'm gonna open this up. So this is basically a keepsake case. These are refillable. And so this is what the case looks like. Beautiful glass quite weighty but not too heavy. I will say I absolutely love this case. Super chic here. It's got the CC here and then of course it's got this magnetic case here. It's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful Chanel keepsake. It comes with its own little case here. So then you can slip your lipstick in just like this and put this in your purse. And again, these are refillable. This is an expensive lipstick. This is $195 and then the refills are $80. So definitely need to be a Chanel lover. But again, this is supposed to be a special keepsake kind of old school where they would have their beautiful lipstick compacts that they took with them. And then it does have the refillable lipsticks that uh, the formula is supposed to be a satin lipstick, very long lasting, as well as hydrating on the lips. So we're going to pull out this color. This is Rouge Beige and I will admit I was worried that this color was not going to look um, good on myself and I was worried that the shade may not work for me but to be honest I have fallen in love with it. I love sort of a nude pinky beige and that's what I would say this color is. This is called Rouge Beige and also I feel like this is a great topper color. So it's got a little bit of sheen. I'm hoping you can see that it is just so beautiful. I'm going to put it on first just by itself and then if you want you can kind of use a little bit of lip liner to define your lips but I just want to show you this first. And this is the shade Rouge Beige. One has just enough depth that I don't feel like it makes me look dead. Um, I love the idea of those really light beige lipsticks, but sometimes they just wash me out. But what I was told is that a lot of people bought this shade and they're using it almost like a topper um, for other lipsticks. And so that sounded like a great idea. I am going to line my lips just a little bit here. I pulled out my Rose Natural. I thought that one would look good together. Let me show you that. This is Rose Natural right here. And I'm just going to lightly line my lips here.
So if you are like myself and you were worried that this shade might make you look a little dead, you can definitely intensify your lips. Use a little lip liner first and then top it, but I absolutely love this color. So glad that I was able to pick it up. I know that there is a bunch of these that are sold out. I'm pretty sure the Rouge Beige is. What I would tell you is to actually call the Chanel Boutiques, the nearest one near you or wherever, and ask them if they have this shade because I was able to find it at one of the Chanel Boutiques still in stock. So if you are like myself and you wanted the Rouge Beige, I think you might be able to find it. And I know they're going to be restocking the refills. So of course I was going to have to pick up this beauty, give it a try. I actually really love this color. I like the formula. I am somebody who prefers more of a glossy lip. But what I will tell you is this satin um, does feel very comfortable on the lips. It is not drying. I definitely wanted to at least try this and I'm so glad I did. And I am thinking about buying one of the deeper shades as well for fun. And then of course we're going to end with fragrance of the day and I'm so excited because Guerlain has launched their new limited edition Shalimar fragrance and this year the special note is Iris. So I knew once this launched I was going to quickly order it. These sell out quite quickly. So this is the Shalimar Millezime iris de guerlain and it comes in the classic chalamar packaging i just love collecting these it's just such a classic scent and i happened to miss out on the vanilla one i think that was not last year's but the year before i hesitated like one minute and then it was sold out if you are a fellow frag head you absolutely love the limited edition shalimar launches you're definitely going to want to pick up this iris one this one is absolutely gorgeous i'm going to spray some on i immediately put this on and it was a love at first sniff it definitely has the underbelly of shalimar which is such a classic but this one has this very powdery iris note in here definitely smell powder so if you do not um, like powdery fragrances this is probably going to be a skip for you to me this reminded me of Lancome's Iris Dragi which has been discontinued and that one always reminded me of like really beautiful lingerie um, like very elegant silky lacy lingerie that you would put in a drawer that of course had like a little sachet that was going to be scenting all of the beautiful lingerie and when I say that I mean very classy not anything trashy <laughs> um this is what this reminded me of is just like a very feminine very elegant very classy iris shalimar fragrance it is so beautiful I also feel like this is going to shine in the little bit of the cooler months because I find that Shalimar itself is a great year-round fragrance, um, but this bit of this powdery iris is just going to kind of envelop you in like a nice little cashmere hug. Um, I'm wearing a little bit of a cashmere sweater today. It's a very luxurious sort of a comforting hug and this is like the perfect perfume to kind of go along with that feeling. Just very luxurious fragrance here. Um, the powderiness is going to dissipate. I'm just saying when you first spray it out, it's going to give you that kind of cloud of iris powder that a lot of fragrances have. I also have to say this is not super vintagey. Um, the original Shalimar 
beautiful scent, but definitely has that vintage or nostalgic feel to it. This feels a bit more modern, but almost in a slightly uh, modern vintage way, I guess I would say. It still has that essence of Shalimar that makes it so special, but this one has a teeny bit of that modern edge dries down to just such a beautiful scent. And as of this morning, this still was available, but this does sell out really quickly. They only make so many bottles and I just love picking these up each year. And this is just a gorgeous scent. Okay, this is not beauty related, but I did want to say I did pick up this beautiful cashmere sweater from Jenny Kane. I had seen this in store when I was in LA this summer, but I was not quite in the mood to buy a sweater because it was so hot. And then Jenny Kane had her 20% off sale, so I was so thrilled to pick this up. I now can wear it. The weather is cooling off and I absolutely love it. I'm a sucker for stripes. I love taupe and cream colors. And so this one just fit the bill. I absolutely love it. And I did pick this up in an extra small. Highly recommend if you are in the mood for a cozy, beautiful sweater. I think you will fall in love with this one. It is perfection. Okay, this is my final look using some fun goodies that I have hauled lately. And I am so happy to be back home. I hope everybody is doing well and I will be back with some new content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video soon.